Hi guys, this is XLife18 from Daily Mobile and today I'm going to show you how to flash your Nokia S60 V5 Symbian based device using Jaff main suite software. The procedure is very simple and you just need to follow some steps and there will be no problem in flashing your phone. It's like a piece of cake. Alright, first of all you need to download your mobile phone's firmware files from BT users just search google for bt users and you will get this page okay after that you need to look for the phone model you are about to flash as in my case i'm going to flash my nokia 5230 so i will check here and now before you even ask which one uh, to download because there are four nokia 5230s listed over here well that totally depends on the RM type of your mobile phone for example in my case the RM of my mobile phone is 588 so I will download these files so check your phone's RM by typing star hash tetra zero hash in the home screen of your mobile phone and then click check to proceed and wait for the website of course So here it is. Now click the firmware you want to download. I will recommend the latest one as this is 20.6.7 is the latest available firmware for 5230. And here are the firmware files. You don't need to download all of them just download the files in a block for example this is the gray one this is the white one and the gray one again you can download with any product code only the languages uh, files a uh, language file will be changed in the firmware our uh, I downloaded the this one mm, this one rm588 euro 2 black cwm and there are a total of seven files uh, in each firmware as you can see and because the download is very big so I've already downloaded all the firmwares so don't need to download them again okay now here I have all of the firmware files as you can see all seven files I've already downloaded them after that you need to download Nokia PC Suite just search Google for download Nokia PC Suite you can download it from Nokia's official website but I prefer Softpedia by going here you can download the Nokia PC Suite which is 34.7 MB big so I've already downloaded this one as well there you go okay now after you've downloaded all the firmware files and Nokia PC suite install it uh, the Nokia PC suite yes install it and then reboot your computer I have done those parts as well and you can see that uh, come on there it is Nokia PC suite and currently I've connected Nokia 2700 classic to it all right after that you need to make a request on this thread let me take you there yeah this one go to daily mobile forum this is the address then may and uh, then ask Oreo 27 to create a hack UDA file for you which is required to hack your phone and flash it successfully this is the request format and uh, reply to this uh, thread accordingly and hopefully you'll get your firmware within one day oh sorry firmware file which is the UDA file in one day download the file and then 
replace it with the original firmware UDA file now make sure the UDA file you downloaded uh, is renamed as the original UDA file your firmware utilizes for example when I downloaded the UDA file which Oreo 27 provided me it was renamed as U002 but my firmware used U001 so I renamed it U001 to comply with my firmware after that you need to download JAP main suite software which can be downloaded from the link below I've downloaded that as well and when you will download the RAR archive you will find these three things after extracting it uh, main software updates and virtual p key emulator now install JAP suite software and uh, it's really easy to install just follow some of the prompts and you will be successfully uh, installing the JAP suite uh, software and uh, during the installation it will ask you to replace your current Nokia cable driver just say no to it because Nokia PC suite we just installed in the previous step contains more better driver than this suite so uh, they are the latest one so we don't need to update them or actually down date them of course uh, after that execute the updates and click the install button and when it asks you to override click yes to all okay then copy virtual p key emulator on your desktop here we go okay now we're all set now what you need to do is reboot your computer to make sure everything works okay then go to your windows directory program files and go to this Nokia folder where it is uh, yeah then you need to create a folder over here called Phoenix then within this folder create a products folder and then within this folder the products one create a folder with RM of your mobile phone for example my RM is 588 so I renamed it to RM-588 okay and then copy all the original firmware files you downloaded from BT users over here but don't forget to replace the UDA file with the one Oreo 27 provided you if you want to hack your phone of course like this I've already copied them just copy them from here to here C program files Nokia Phoenix product RM588 copy them here okay now after that turn off your phone connect it to your PC while it's turned off via USB cable and then run virtual p key emulator start jeff 1.98.65 main software by clicking here easy isn't it click ok to the error it's normal alright now go to the bb5 tab click on manual flash then dead USB untick normal mood and CRT 308 and click US sorry use INA and wait for the box to appear come on boxy come on come on mm, here it is okay scroll down to your mobile phone model for example in my case is 5230 where it is oh there it is and click on ok now you see all of these four lights will become green and double check you have already uh, done everything that is necessary for example uh, check these boxes and unchecked these boxes alright now assuming 
that you have connected your phone while it is turned off via USB cable uh, connected your phone via USB cable while it is turned off click on flash and the error will come and as it says never downgrade your phone never ever downgrade your phone you can flash with the current firmware or you can flash with the later one but if you downgrade this will happen to your phone RIP okay now because I've already flashed my phone so I can do it again but you just click on yes okay I'll show you just click on yes okay then it will say press power on now then press the power on button of your mobile phone for less than one second about half a second and then it will say searching for phone found and some of the drivers uh, will be loaded and after then the process will be started and when the process is ended uh, the Jeff will show a message over here like done and then you are all set to release your phone from the data cable just remove your data cable and remove the battery plug in the battery again and restart your phone now this thing is because I've currently connected Nokia 2700 which is a DCT4 mobile phone so when you will connect a uh, S60V5 phone, BB5 mobile phones, uh, this will not occur. All right. So that was all. Now you have latest firmware. Thank you for watching, and I hope I helped you. Greetings.